So now that you've put lots of blood, sweat, and tears into growing those beautiful cut flowers, here are a few tips uh, to help you with harvest so that you get the longest vase life possible out of them. So number one, always use clean buckets uh, or vases. So whatever you harvest into before putting them into that vase in your house, make sure it's clean. A 10% bleach solution or just scrubbing it out with some dish soap works really well. Uh, always use clean, sharp clippers. So uh, if they're dull, they actually crush that vascular system them, which uh, keeps the flower from uptaking water uh, and basically defeats the purpose of putting them in water in the first place. You also want to harvest them in the coolest parts of the day. So early morning is the best time, um, but uh, late evening can also be really beneficial. And so this just keeps them fresh and full of moisture uh, during harvest. You also want to take a bucket with you to the garden. I don't know how many times I've walked out to the garden and said, I'm not going to pick anything, I'm just checking. Uh, but believe me, I always come out with a handful of flowers. And so bringing a bucket with you full of water down to the garden, make sure that they are drinking water as soon as possible after being cut. Also maximize stem length. So the number one thing I see new cut flower farmers do is they don't cut the flower deep enough. So make sure you're getting that nice 18 inches, 12 inches of stem length. And what that does is promote long stem lengths in the future. So if you cut short, you're gonna keep getting short stems. You also want to make sure to remove those bottom leaves before putting them into the bucket. So this just prevents uh, fungus from growing and bacteria from spreading. You want to allow your flowers a rest time uh, between picking and designing. So around four hours or even overnight is a good time. It allows them to take up moisture before you start putting them into some, some beautiful design. Also make sure you're recutting the stems every time you change their water in the vase. Uh, that will help improve that vascular flow up into the flower head. And you want to make sure to keep flowers in a cool spot away from any fruit. So fruit has ethylene and it will make your flowers ripen even faster, which is the opposite of what we want. 